The Angel Baptism For 2,000 years, the Christian community has been teaching water baptism. But Jesus ended water baptism and commanded spirit baptism. John said he baptized with water, but Jesus would baptize with a spirit. The spirit has a name, the spirit of truth. John 16, 13 says, when the spirit of truth comes, it will teach you all things. Specifically, it will teach you what Jesus said and meant. God created many spirit children. Those spirits sent to the earth with messages are called angels. The spirit of truth is a teaching angel. Jesus' mission is to baptize loving people with the angel of truth. This angel spirit has erroneously been called God, the Holy Spirit. However, angels are only messengers. They can only repeat what they are told. Look at John 16:13. When the spirit of truth comes, who reveals the truth about God, it will lead you into all the truth. It will not speak on its own authority, but it will speak of what it hears. This is clearly not God, but a messenger, an angel. Jesus' name is Yahushua. God's name is El Shaddai. He is love. He is invisible. He is a spirit. He is the father of countless spirits. There are three spirits, or angels, in the New Testament. Number one, the Rhema angel. Number two, the angel of wisdom. And number three, the angel of truth. The first two are not named, but a little research will reveal their identities. The Rhema angel sent John the baptizer to baptize in 30 AD. See Luke 3.2. The wisdom angel guided Jesus in 30 AD, and the angel of truth guides the followers of Jesus. Many Christians erroneously believe Jesus came to die. He came to give the words of life and baptize kind people with the angel of the truth so that they may have Zoe, abundant spiritual life now and into eternity. Jesus offered himself as a ransom. He was not a sacrificial lamb. His goal was not to die, but his murder shattered the foundation of the power of evil and cost Azazel, the ruler of evil, his hold on humans in the land of death. Somehow the Christians dropped the ball and for thousands of years they have called Jesus the victim lamb slain for our sins. They have continued John's water baptism and have not had the angel of truth. Their baptism was bogus. This is where the wheels came off the bus. This has resulted in a deformed church built on Greek Trinitarian philosophy Roman militarism and modeling Jesus' death after pagan human sacrifices. Cannibalistic and vampirish rituals involving the eating of Christ's flesh and drinking of his blood became universally practiced. A professional class of clergy arose making massive land purchases and building gigantic cathedrals. They soon became politicians and appointed kings. History is littered with the bodies of all who did not obey them. Women were burned at the stake as witches, along with heretics, Jews, pagans, Muslims, and any dissenters. All of these things are contrary to what Jesus taught. So that today, the deformed church is a house of misinformation, misconduct, lies, heresies, 
and a den of thieves, adulterers, murderers, and child-raping pedophiles. Jesus wanted gentle lambs and harmless doves, but the deformed church produces screaming eagles and fighting tigers who drop hideous, insanely destructive bombs on women, children, the elderly, peace lovers, cattle, water, supplies, fields, houses, schools, and hospitals. And their soldiers are praised by their churches and called heroes. El Shaddai adopted Jesus at the Jordan River by calling him son. He filled him with the angel of wisdom without limit. The wisdom angel came to Jesus and dwelt in him. The wisdom angel was El Shaddai's firstborn spirit child. El Shaddai created wisdom as his architect, and wisdom created all things. It is the oldest and chief of the angels, the Logos. I call it an it because angels have no gender. The wisdom angel spoke through Jesus and did miracles through him. Wisdom taught that El Shaddai is a loving father who forgives sins without sacrifices and is looking for people of peace who are forgiving, merciful, loving, and kind. El Shaddai wants to birth them into his kingdom as spirit children. This beautiful message was rejected because Jesus lived among people with hearts full of adulteries, fornications, theft, murder, the desire for wealth, wrongdoing, deceit, sins of the flesh, an evil eye, angry words, blasphemies, pride, foolish acts, jealousies, slander, shamelessness, and lusts. Did the Father kill Jesus? Jesus said El Shaddai does not want sacrifices, so El Shaddai didn't kill him. If God said he doesn't want sacrifices, Jesus would never have sacrificed himself. So who did it? Paul said it was the wicked powers of darkness, the devil, Azazel, and his fallen angels, and the earthly rulers that Azazel appointed. For proof that Azazel appointed evil rulers, look at Luke 4, 5, and 6. The devil took him, Jesus, to a high place and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in an instant. And the evil one said, I will give you authority over all these and the glory of them, for it has been given to me, and I give it to anyone at my pleasure. Just worship me, and you can have it all. So Azazo rules the world sets up all rulers and politicians. However, Jesus did not stay in the grave. El Shaddai brought him back from the dead as a human. His wounds were healed, but he had scars on his feet, hands, and one side. He showed his hands and feet inside to his followers to prove that he was not a ghost or a spirit yet. When Jesus reunited with his apostles, he said, See my hands and my feet. Feel me and see, because the Spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see me having. Then he blew on them and baptized them with the angel of truth. Jesus spent the next 40 days with his followers and traveled to the Galilee where he was seen by 500 followers. Then, as they were approaching the village of Bethany, he was taken into a cloud where he was transformed from a human into a spirit. He was the first human to become a spirit. Then, on the 50th day, as a spirit, Jesus returned, baptizing people with the angel of the truth. Jesus was adopted at the Jordan River and spirit-born at Bethany. We are adopted when we receive the angel of truth, baptism, and spirit-born 
when Jesus calls us from the land of death on the last day. Five times Jesus said he would raise up the dead on the last day. If you have been angel baptized, you are guaranteed to rise as a beloved spirit child. Jesus said, which one of you would give your child a scorpion if the child asked for an egg? As bad as you are, you still know how to give good gifts to your children. But your heavenly Father is even more ready to give the angel of the truth to anyone who asks. If you have not received the angel of the truth, you have not because you ask not. Here's a sample prayer. Before you go to bed tonight, or right now, say, Jesus, please baptize me with the angel of truth. Amen.